Hi everyone! Microsoft Viva Connections brings your internet directly into Microsoft Teams. A new desktop experience is being released recently for Viva Connections that is easier and faster to set up and optimizes content to deliver a modern employee experience. The new Viva Connections desktop design serves as a new home experience option that centers essential job tasks. Personalized content, easy access to other Viva experiences and better aligns with the mobile experience. Let me show you in this short video how you can use this incredible new experience. Here I am in my Microsoft Teams client. Let me open immediately Viva Connections that I have here on the left rail navigation. On top, at the first position, I have Contoso. This is Viva Connections and here, as you can see, we have the new dashboard available of Viva Connections. Here I have all modules of Viva currently enabled and activated on my tenant. I have Viva Learning, Insights and Engage. If I click on one of them, I'm able to jump immediately on the specific Viva module. In this case, I clicked on Viva Insights, then the app is open on the left rail navigation. Now let me open again Viva Connections dashboard, the new dashboard, because it's time to highlight all sections available here. Here in the body, I have the dashboard. This is the classic dashboard with adaptive cards. What I can do here is click on the edit button. This drop me on SharePoint. I am now on the dashboard.aspx and here I can reconfigure and redesign my dashboard if I want. Let me discard changes here. I want to go back now on Microsoft Viva connections. On the right, I have the feed. I don't have news at the moment, but this is the place where all news will show up. Down below, I have resources. And if I want to redesign the navigation here, I can just click on the button, head it, the property panel on the right shows up and here I can rearrange the order of my navigation or creating new link. Now let me close this panel. If I want to jump back on the home side, all I need to do is just go over this title, icon title and arrow. I can click directly here and now I am on the classic dashboard that we are already familiar. So this is the classic homepage. I place the dashboard on the right and then I have the classic layout of our SharePoint page. To go back to the previous home, there is here the icon Microsoft Viva. I can re-click here again and then I am on the Viva Connections dashboard, the new experience. On the right, I have the three dots. Here I can refresh the page and uh, there is a nice functionality which allow me to manage access directly to my home site, to my SharePoint home site. I can handle the membership to this SharePoint site. I can add uh, an owner or a member or a visitor. If I want to add more people, I can just click on the button Grant Access and then I can handle the membership of my site. So this is the new Viva Connections dashboard experience, which is along with the classic dashboard. So you can have both if you want, or you can just keep the classic dashboard that we have seen before, the classic SharePoint homepage in the home site. So it's up to you. There is a PowerShell command led that you can use in order to configure this behavior. Here on the left corner, upper left corner, we can see an hamburger menu, this open the left panel. And this is also a useful functionality because it allows me to navigate all Microsoft Viva models. As I mentioned, these three models are turned on for my, in my tenant, but you will have also Viva Goals, for example, and additional Viva models like Viva Topics, all centered and all placed in the same panel. This is nice to have. All right, let me show you now how you can handle the behavior of two dashboards, eventually how you can set just one 
dashboard. All right, here I am now in the new Viva Connections Home Experience documentation. I added the link in the description of this video. Let me walk you through this page. Here you can see the home experience already available and here we have all Viva models. There is Viva Sales, Viva Amplify, Insights, Goals, Topics and Pools. Now if I scroll at the bottom there is a very important picture here which highlight every part which is customizable in this new home experience of Viva Connections. We already know that all this part has our AD table, like for example the dashboard and the, the resources. Moreover, you can set here a banner image in the admin center. You can add your organization banner image if you want. Then let me scroll at the bottom because I want to highlight the PowerShell script needed and all steps to follow if you want to set this new dashboard as a default dashboard for your Viva Connections experience or maybe you want to opt for the previous one, the classic with the SharePoint page embedded in the Viva Connections experience. So all we need to do is as a prerequisite is download the latest SharePoint Online management shell and then connect through PowerShell meet with global administrator rule. And here we have the command that we have to run. We have set SP home site, then the home site URL, and finally Viva Connections default start. Which dashboard you want to run as a default experience in Viva Connections? You can set true or false. If you set false, the new home experience will be set as a default for the landing experience. Differently, if you set true, then you will use the home site as default landing experience. Here it's up to you how you want to deal with this landing experience. It's pretty easy, straightforward, the usage of this PowerShell command. You have to connect as a global administrator and then you have to run this second command. That's it. Okay, we have seen the new home experience in Viva Connections. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe, like and put a comment down below. Just let me know what do you think about this new capability. I hope to see you next time. Bye.